Hello, I'm Melissa Hageman, and I would like to join in welcoming you to the second Pan-African Forum on Open Educational Resources and Open Access. My organization, the Open Society Institute, helped to define open access through the Budapest Open Access Initiative. Thus, over the past seven years, we've been very pleased to see the success of the open access movement, and we have worked to fund projects which support the open access movement as a whole. Among these projects have been the Directory of Open Access Journals, or the DOAJ.org, which currently lists over 4,100 peer-reviewed open access journals. In addition, we've also been pleased to support the development of the Directory of Open Access Repositories, or Open Door, which lists over 1,300 subject-based and institutional repositories. I think that one of the most important accomplishments of the open access movement has been the development of mandates for public access to publicly funded research. Our grantee in the U.S. helped to push forth the mandate which stipulates that all research funded by the U.S. National Institutes of Health will now be made freely available online. Thus, the, this research, which amounts to $29 billion worth of funding annually, will now be freely available. So to build upon the accomplishments of the open access movement, OSI was very pleased to collaborate with the Shuttleworth Foundation out of South Africa to launch the Cape Town Open Education Declaration last year. The Cape Town Declaration offers three strategies for the development of open educational resources. Among one, we advocate for public access to publicly funded educational materials. And during these difficult economic times, we're seeing more governments take an interest in open education policy. Last month, I was pleased to participate in a meeting in Poland in which the Polish Parliament, so members of Parliament and the Ministry of Education, began to, to discuss open education policy issues and to see how open educational resources can best benefit their educational system. Likewise, in the Netherlands, uh, we've been working with colleagues there uh, to launch a national uh, open educational resources project called WikiWise, which was put forth by the Minister of Education himself, and it will work to create a national OER project which will help teachers to collaboratively develop open educational resources. So I think national examples of uh, programs such as these can offer, uh, great, uh, can offer a great example for uh, other countries to follow. So I think these are very exciting times for open educational resources and open access, and I'm sure that the discussions which you will be having at this conference will go a great ways to helping to strengthen these two movements. So I wish you a very um, exciting and fruitful conference, and thank you very much.